We broke a lot of cars this year. Some more than others. So today we're gonna rank the cars from least messed up to most messed up. And see which one of us broke the most cars. Starting with... Hi WRX, who broke this one? Jerry! Yeah. And yeah, so I was in the canyons driving it, was going from third to fourth, uh, when I hit fourth, it went pum, 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 pum. <laughs> made a nice sound, and I instantly was like, "Gosh, dang it! There goes third." Uh, <laughs> so when uh, we did the E85 conversion on this car, it got up to close to 500 horsepower. It lasted for a pretty good amount of time because yeah. we all we beat on it at the track. We drive it up in the canyons a whole bunch. Yes, yeah, so this was pretty predictable. I mean, we were you know not too surprised when yeah. it happened again. I was the one uh, driving the car, so my fault. Point for me, I guess. On our patented paintometer, uh, from zero to 100, where do we put this thing? In terms of the paintometer, if we were just to put a stock transmission back in here, day job, we're not going to do that. We're going to because we would break it again. Yeah, mm. it would eventually just uh, do the same thing. So uh, probably a multi-day uh, job to fix this thing. 70 ish. 69. 69. Good. 69. 69. Nice. Good. Honda our next car. <laughs> Low Z. We got low Z here. Uh, it's been broken multiple times this year, but yeah. for the people happened? on screen, I broke this car. Uh, we had a snapped axle uh, a couple months ago. It was one wheel drive. Yeah. Um, I will say ruins the handling dynamics of this thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not very good for drifting. It's not very no. good for drifting when you do that. Luckily, uh, that we fixed that. Uh, pretty easy job. Then the editors, our lovely editors, had a little track day with Shop Daddy Adam. They were out there at the track. Uh, power steering was working real hard. <laughs> Failed, overheated. <laughs> the brake was on. It got so hot that the cap on the power steering actually melted. Sure. All right, so on the panometer, you know, axles, pretty quick job. Power steering, a little slower job, but not too crazy. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'd put that at like a... 20. 20. Yeah. Easy peasy. Up next, we've got Heisey. Yeah, who broke this one? Job. Job. Yeah. Yeah, so we've had plenty of problems with this car. Uh, namely, this year we broke four axles in one day, which was insane and uh, tough to believe. We also overheated the power steering, uh, similar to low car. Graham, have you ever drifted a car? I've not, no. Did I break it? You did. Well, good luck fixing it. <laughs> Same day. And uh, we were having consistent overheating issues, and we found that we were missing a plug in the thermostat housing that was not forcing fluid to run in the uh, appropriate channels. So we fixed all those things. None of them were too terribly uh, tough to do. You know, the axle took an hour. Uh, thermostat, a couple hours. But the thermostat thing lasted like a year. Yeah, it took us a long time to figure that out. Yeah. So it did go on forever. So that really is probably the most painful thing, but then a lot of that pain was retracted, but yeah. we figured it out and it was a really simple fix. But I would still put this at like uh, 55 on the scale, just because there's so much going on and it's been such a head scratcher. So that's a point for me. Let's see the next car. Up next is low WRX. Who broke this one, guys? Justin. Justin. That's me. That was me. He did. That's my fault. But let me paint the picture for you, right? We're at Willow Springs doing a track day. There's a bunch of cars there. We're filming multiple videos, right? So I take oh, yeah. a couple laps in low WRX, and what do you know? Third gear releases itself. Guess what just happened? <laughs> I wasn't even in a pool. What a way to phrase that. It released itself. It released itself. Well, that's the thing. I, cl I clutched in and it popped out. Yeah. <laughs> right as I was so grabbing for it. It did release itself. It released, it released itself. itself. Yeah. All right. Sorry. As long as the pain meter goes with this car, it's not as bad as a deal as Hyrex because we're going to find the cheapest upgrade option we possibly can. Yeah. Uh, so let's say 35. Transmission's already out, so yeah. all we gotta do yeah. is slap one in there. Halfway there. It's that easy. It's yeah. that easy. Next up, we have my own personal five-cylinder turbo Mark III Volkswagen Golf. And who broke that, James? James. 
which is good because I'd be mad it. if it yeah. Didn't we recently released a video where we drove a car with every number of cylinders, and luckily, I had one with five, which is a hard one to find. So we brought it out to Willow Springs. I rarely get to drive this car, uh, and figured out the only really thing it's good at is doing burnouts. <laughs> Uh, and it doesn't have a tachometer, <laughs> and it was cold. <laughs> so there's uh, there's some noise going on <laughs> on the inside of it. Uh, <laughs> you spun her too fast, James. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Let go too quick. So it's got some rod knock. We're gonna tear it apart and see what's going on in there. Also, it was really windy that day and I opened the door, the wind caught it, and now it doesn't close. Uh, so, I wonder why that was open. I mean, as far as the pain meter goes, one of the reasons I chose this engine is because you can get them for like 700 bucks. Yeah. Uh, but it was never meant to go in this car and there's a bunch of custom stuff related to the turbo on top of it. So pain, I'd say, 85. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we're thorough here at Donuts. So not only do we break our cars, mm -hmm. sometimes we break other people's. Okay, so we were driving the uh, Yugo and the first test we did was a zero to 60 on a freeway on ramp. I think, what was the <laughs> time? Permits in the car. Mm -hmm. 35 seconds. 35 seconds, seconds to, to go 60. zero to 60. I go to shift. The shifter goes a little too far back. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. That was a very loud crunch that noise. That was a weird noise. Uh, Did you, you shift anymore? That doesn't sound What oh. is that? The shift, no. Oh. Is the shifter stuck? The shifter is broken. I it's... think the transmission broke. Turns out uh, the shifter is connected to the transmission via rubber bushing. Mm -hmm. And being an old car, that rubber from the Soviet Union, <laughs> rubber, uh, it had degraded uh -huh. a bit. Yeah. Broke and we had to put it uh, on a trailer. Well, at least you weren't going that fast. So who broke it? No way. Yeah, it was a shift linkage. It was literally like an eight dollar piece or something. But that's like a five on the pain scale. It sucks. It's actually more pain to drive the car than to fix it. I think. Up next, our beautiful E36. Who broke this thing? Who broke it? Oh. Hi. Adam. Adam. All right. What happened? So the E36, honestly, it's been great. Yeah. I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah. We didn't touch the motor. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and it's starting to actually go a little bit too. So we were overheating and we kept trying to fix it. We thought it'd bleed through. That didn't work out. We thought maybe a busted hose. That didn't work out. And it keeps feeling like it's going down on power a little bit more, a little bit more. So let's put this on the pain meter. What do you think? I mean, it's not really that broken. It's not that bad. I would got 30 out of 100, um, but the potential sky high for what we can do with this thing. We're not done with all the cars we broke yet. Let's go inside. Here we have Adam's FD car. I wonder who broke this one. Adam. Adam. How many Adam. times did it break? <laughs> yeah. This year, pretty, pretty much only once. Okay. Oh. So we popped the motor on this one, first round at Formula D Atlanta. I was in the warm up box doing our burnouts to warm up the tires and the valve dropped, bounced around and left a bunch of fun scars inside. So we had to yank it out, rebuild the whole thing and put it back in. And because it's racing, we had about three weeks to get that sorted out. From terms of one to 100 in pain, this is a solid 95. Okay, let's go to the next car. Our EG Civic is not here right now because it's in a trailer because it got broken yesterday. Yes, a fresh yeah. one. Yeah. And who broke it? Joey. Yeah. Yes, it was me. Uh, we had just gotten done filming and the car did exceptionally well during filming. And uh, I did a couple laps around Streets of Willow after filming and about halfway through the second lap, uh, just all of a sudden, bang! And uh, so I limped it back to like the paddock area and we noticed that some wires had been dangling. Uh, they didn't get, you know, tightened up or put away as we were finishing our installs with very little time, mind you. And uh, yeah, those got caught in the serpentine belt and just got eaten up. So. We just have a little bit of wiring to fix. It's really not that big of a deal, but when it happened, I thought it was catastrophic. So on a scale of one to 100 on our pain meter, uh, I'd give it like a 13. Assuming nothing else is actually wrong, it's really no big deal. But it was very scary. It was scary. 13. I just also want to say, I drove the car a lot before Joby and it was perfectly fine. 
All right, up next, we're in Jeremiah's graveyard. Let's talk about what we're sitting on. <laughs> we're sitting on a collection of motorcycles, AKA mini bikes, really. I'm on kind of the mini bike that started it all. Joby and I installed a turbo on this thing. Um, all things considered, <laughs> this thing ran pretty good. These things vibrate really bad. So when we were going around the track, uh, one of the clutch bolts fell out and caused some sparks. I saw some sparks. And I hear some grinding. Was it from the clutch, maybe? I don't know. You hear it? <laughs> the clutch inside. Uh, but once we tighten that back up, <laughs> thing ran great. A uh, hundred mile per hour run mini bike. Blew a, a stator at the track, and so we were not able to rev past about 6,500 RPM. And uh, but we still went 80, 80 ish mi miles an hour on this motor, close to 90. I think it was 89. Yeah. Real question though. Yeah. Who broke it? This isn't so good. <laughs> I just blew this dude's motor. This cat's can hose blew, popped off, and squirted oil everywhere. Okay, yeah, yeah. I broke it. Okay, yes, I broke I broke this one. No meter on this one. This one hurt because we a, a piece broke and failed um, and caused us not to be able to run it again. But that's a cheap fix. That's a ten dollar part. This is a loose bolt, so like a one out of hundred. We could do this in probably thirty five minutes. No problem. No problem, Henry. <laughs> All right, give me the point. Give me the point. Now let's talk about a team effort break. What was once the fastest motorcycle in the world now is it? <laughs> <laughs> we took the engine out. We did an episode on our engine show yep. about how it works. Tearing what? it down and putting it back. Put it back together. Why well, it's what so did you good? Not do? Which part of that didn't you do? Okay, so we did the taking out really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we, we, we like good at that part. we nailed the taking out. We nailed the taking it apart. Uh -huh. Got it down to the block, but see with motorcycles, the um, engine is attached to the transmission, and so. Well, okay, usually that's the case. But. We're putting it back together. Uh, and when you put the cases together, there's a little kind of rubber grommets that one was a little tweaked, just tweaked enough to where when we were cinching it back together. Uh oh, uh, Jerry. What? We got a crack, man. Where? Uh, in the case. Like. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> oh, brother. Ran a bolt up and it um, cracked the cracked the block. Um, whose fault was that? Jerry. Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take the heat off me. The next car on our list is by far the most expensive vehicle we've broken this past year. It's not only a car. Wow. <laughs> a few months back, we tested a $1 million camper. Uh, it was pretty impressive on the surface, but we definitely found the limits. Oh, Guys, what? who broke that one? <laughs> Justin. Justin! We wanted to test out the most capable expedition vehicle ever, a million dollar camper from 27 North. We took it up a big hill at Rower Flats, and I went after Zach Job, who successfully made it up that hill. Wow. That's impressive. That was crazy. The front I looked it up and I was like, oh god. Naturally, I wanted to go a little faster. <laughs> oh my god. Good? Um, and I broke it. I literally <laughs> noodled the drive shaft. Uh, we have it here as a trophy. Matt's Off Road Recovery, the YouTube channel dedicated to recovering off road vehicles, said he's never seen a drive shaft that broken. Because of everything that had to happen and how long it was sitting up there and how hard it was to recover this thing, I would say easily 100 out of 100. The thing was super expensive, super risky, and just an all right bad time. So, <laughs> yeah. our next car it's is a baby car. A baby car. <laughs> yeah. Actually, built because so children, so children could drive, drive it. it. There you yeah. go. I'm talking about the Reliant Robin. Uh, who broke that? James. James. So early in 2023, we traveled to Utah to prove that Top Gear was wrong when they said it was super easy to flip over a Reliant Robin. And I'd say we were semi-successful. It looked and felt a lot more dramatic than it was. We popped a coolant hose off, put that back on, no big, drove it away that day. I'd say pain meter, 11. All right, one of the biggest vehicles we broke this year was Matt's off-road wrecker. Uh, I wasn't there for that. Who broke it? 
I broke way more cars than I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to remember them yeah. All. <laughs> to be fair, this was a perfect example of this car broke while I was driving it. So uh, if you guys are not familiar with this thing, it is absolutely insane. It's four wheel steering. Uh, you drive the front two wheels with the steering wheel, then the back two wheels with like a joystick right here. Everything's like super foreign and doesn't feel like you're driving a car. And all of a sudden we're on the side of a mountain and uh, it just went full, uh, full throttle. Whoa, off the right, off the right. Throttle stuck. Oh my goodness, that was scary. <laughs> and so what what happened was uh, the throttle cable had caught on the a uh, bolt on the steering column and wrapped itself around, so the throttle was stuck fully open. And when we cut it towards the wall, it wrapped around enough to snap it and shut the shut the engine off. Fear scale, I'd say 150. Pain scale, five. Fixed it on the trail and drove it to get B-roll. Well, our next car is barely a car at all. I am talking about our Chinese truck, the Changli. The Changli, the bane of my existence. A car that took months to get, came all the way from China uh, to the streets of Los Angeles. We basically was like, hey, this thing says it's a truck. Can it do truck stuff? So we tested a bunch of truck stuff. Uh, it did well, and then we we're like, hey, we got it. We got a hot load of dudes dumping off. <laughs> well, it did okay initially, right. right? And then what we did is like, well, you got a truck, you got to lift it up a little bit. You got to put some big wheels and tires on it. That made it way worse uh, because- But not really why you would think. <laughs> yeah, but not why you would think. You would think that would make it better. Well, a certain individual- Who broke this one? <laughs> oh, no, it's Henry! Yeah, get on in here. Yeah, hey. it's yeah. Henry. It's you, it's you, it's you. It's I think you. this is a more egregious one because <laughs> this is the only time where Henry broke it and didn't tell anybody. <laughs> so many people thought that they did it and turns out. I just cut through this light. <laughs> Whoopsies. Look, I messed up, but you know, I didn't know that I cut through the wiring on it. Yeah. I get a point. I think the pain meter because we're gonna have to do some crazy stuff to get. This. It's an ongoing. Issue. Dude, yeah, this is enlisting, the hardest video. Outside help. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna say, yeah, since we have to enlist outside help, we're taking all, people to lunch. To fix this thing. It's 101. It's, it's higher yeah. than. Yeah. It's off the scale. Yeah, it's yeah. 101. It would be easier to ship another one from China hey, than yeah. it would be to try to figure out how to fix this but one. you know what good thing we're spending all the money and effort on the cool car <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't lose. So, oh, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> believe it or not some of the time these cars run and that means they make power to find out how much power they make check out this video where we dyno to all of them uh, if you live in America of the earth if you live in North America go to zoomies and pick up some Dota merch or if you're in Europe go to blue tomato uh, Bye.